Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you all about keto breakfast ideas for beginners. So whether you're new to the keto diet or looking to get back into it, this video is going to give you heaps of ideas and inspiration for low carb keto friendly breakfasts that are so easy and simple to put together. And I've written a blog post to go along with this video so you can click down below for that and you can get all of these ideas and more with loads of photos and information to put together all kinds of yummy easy keto breakfasts and make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel you subscribe for more videos just like this and leave a like and a comment too let me know what is your best easy go-to keto breakfast i look forward to reading your comments so let's get into it so how do you put together a breakfast that is keto friendly low carb high fat and is also quick and easy well it's really simple first of all start with eggs i start with eggs most days I definitely have breakfast without eggs but I start with eggs most days now how do you like your eggs do you like them fried scrambled an omelette poached however you like them cook them with lots of fat uh, unless it's poached then you cook it in water but I cook my fried eggs or omelette or scrambled eggs in lots of butter or you could use coconut oil or whatever oil you like to get it nice and crispy and to bring up the fat content of it and once you have your eggs, how about some sides? Think about vegetables, you can go for mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus. I've been loving radishes lately. You can have spinach, green beans. There are all kinds of low carb, keto friendly vegetables to choose from. I definitely enjoy at least a portion of vegetables with my breakfast. And then there's protein. Sometimes I will have an additional protein in addition to eggs, like sausages or any leftover meat or smoked salmon. In the past I've also had steak and eggs as well for breakfast for a massive protein hit to start my day out. And then add fats. We're all about low carb and high fat. So think about adding some sour cream, cheese, some feta, maybe cook your eggs and vegetables in some cream or mascarpone. Add your fat in lots of delicious ways. There's so many options. And then it's really just about mixing and matching. You can pick a couple of veggies to enjoy over the week and then make eggs in different ways. You can have mushrooms and fried eggs. Next day you could have mushrooms and an omelette. The next day you could have scrambled eggs with mushrooms on the side. So you can have eggs in different ways and buy veggies that you enjoy and enjoy them day after day and then you can mix and match. I tend to just rotate through whatever's in season, whatever I feel like, and just every day I'll have eggs, couple of veg, some fat, and just rotate that in whatever way I feel like. And how about breakfast without eggs? Definitely can have keto breakfast without eggs. In fact, I filmed a whole video with seven breakfast ideas without eggs. I'll definitely leave that in the information cards and down below for you. But some quick and easy ideas for you. Chia pudding, you definitely can have chia on keto. It's just pure fiber goodness. Find a low carb yogurt, you can leave it in the fridge overnight and you've got an easy go-to breakfast in the morning. I've also had smoothies, loads of smoothies through my keto journey and sometimes I'll even have a protein shake. If I'm on the go really quick, I'll make up a protein shake and run out the door. You can also be a little bit organized and spend some time making a meal prep box. I've done that in the past as well. Made a meal prep box with all kinds of breakfast goodies and then I have my fridge full with meal prep boxes ready to go for the week with all kinds of easy, yummy keto breakfasts. And don't forget, you can also have leftovers for breakfast. What did you enjoy for dinner yesterday? Have it for leftovers this morning. Just raid your fridge, put together a platter of all kinds of goodies and you've got breakfast. Really, the main key is keep it simple. What do you already have in your kitchen that you can enjoy for breakfast? Find a two, three breakfasts you really enjoy and just keep cooking those. You don't have to cook a different breakfast every day of the week for every day of the month and every day of the year. Find a few things you enjoy and just rinse and repeat. So there you go. Those are my tips for keto breakfast ideas for beginners. Make sure that you check down below for the link to the blog post and all the other videos that I mentioned along the way for lots more inspiration for easy keto breakfasts for beginners. And remember to leave a like a comment too and subscribe for more videos just like this and thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye!